left guy so we get a new location I don't know Winifred Beach over there so yeah but then call that area a long stone yeah so we are looking for get the barracuda alright so right here I saw a huge bit of parrotfish if you look closely guys you will see them there it's over 200 of them they were mixed you have pink parrot spotlight parrotfish yeah man a lot of them this is the biggest bed I ever see in my entire life I didn't even know which one to spear every time I chose one then I saw one little bit bigger Jake also made a dive on them and he speared one I speared a red belly and it escaped but it was dead though it was a knockout shot the gill didn't hold it that's why it came off while I was coming up so right here I made a second dive to pick it up as you can see there it's right there so while going up I was looking around because in this area barracudas tend to swim up on you from all directions so I have to be looking around let's take a look at the fish now as you can see here this one was a lovely one and it was one of the smallest one in the school so right here Marcos saw gold tail we weren't after small fish today but we were seeing them a lot and the size of them we couldn't leave them guys they were too nice to leave yes yeah, so right here Marcos made a dive to spear it it was swimming when he got close he tried to hide from him but he gave it a lovely shot it was a knockout shot so he just slowly head back for surface as you can see he's looking around you have to be looking very careful because these barracudas they'll swim up on you from out of nowhere so you have to remain focused Marco saw another school of parrot here. He took a pink parrot from this school. The only thing I don't like with seeing these schools is that you only get one chance. So after you fire a shot, all of them they'll swim off. If they were hiding from you and you could surface and make another dive on them, that would be lovely. But they don't stay one place, they are always swimming. So guess what happened guys, Jake speared a red belly and I was talking to him. Just as I put my head back underneath the water, guess what happened? Three lovely barracudas came on underneath my belly. You see, the one time I was distracted, you know, guys. You see, at that time, the barracuda didn't come, you know. That's what I was always telling you guys. I tried to make a dive on them right here. I couldn't get close enough because it was three of us there. I didn't rust any shot. I just surfaced. Jake and Marcus made a dive. As you can see there, Jake have the red belly on his spear. Marcus took a shot. The barracuda sight the shot. Let's look at what happened on Marcus' side now. So this is Marcus' footage. Boss a go down on the man now. Boss turn. See more take the shot and now look at this. Let's slow it down for you guys. Look. As you can see here, he took a good aim. When he lined it up, he fired the shot. See Barracuda whine out of the shot guys. Yeah man and he gone. So we didn't get any from that tree. If I wasn't distracted at first, I'm sure I would have speared one of those. But that's how it goes guys, you live you learn. So right here I saw another small school of parrotfish. These were pink parrots and squabs. I saw one hiding so I just took that one. You see that? After I fired the shot, you see how much of them some off. This time I didn't search for the bigger one. I just look at the one that was tameless. It was of good size, so I just took that one. 
the gill didn't hold it but it was dead just as the first one so i made the second dive to pick it up while going down i also saw another pink parrot so right here i went to spear it but i couldn't find it this one hid real good or it seems as if it's some off when i look behind me because i have to be looking for the barracudas as well because they were the main targets today so while i was shooting parrot this barracuda sum up on marcus and he speared it he's saying gone guys yeah man in gone we don't have water bottom these waters are a lot deeper than the water that would normally spear barracudas <coughs> Marcus was calling us there for assistance and also to let us know that he speared a barracuda. As mentioned before, these waters are really, really deep and the barracuda was pressuring him. It was trying to pull him underneath the water. But he hold tension on it to tide it out. And this area have a lot of sharks as well because the deep edge that we cannot see the bottom is very, very near right here. So after a while, the barracuda got tired, so he just simply pull it up. They are very strong and fast, but they easily get tired. So Jake and I reach now. This is my footage of the pull up. So he come up nice and easy. And at first, he was pressuring Marcus. It was a good holding shot, so we were sure it couldn't escape. So we didn't give it any second shot. baby turtle came to say hi Jake speared a barracuda here so I made this dive to give it a second shot this one was a massive one it was also pressuring Jake so I made this dive and I gave it the second shot your man that shot calm it down so we just gang him and pull him up this one was a nice one it was a 17 pounder it wasn't really long it was short and thick yeah man this one was a female barracuda and the head was small as well male barracuda have a big head a slim body and they are long you see that guys my bar try for jet just take out it go eat you know watch out get you my hold tank watch out watch out Yeah, that's watching the bird every look. I bird and type on. So we got this up. So here we go, trouble them. A school of bird was here again. This time, quite a few of them stopped and was hiding. Look at this now, guys. I saw one that I was going to spear. When I put the gun on, on it, I saw a bigger one. Then we look at this. Everything starts to off, guys. So I ended up spearing a small one. But I was still thankful. All of the big ones swam off. Due to me being indecisive, I got a small one. It tore off. So I surfaced and made the second dive to retrieve it 
After I retrieved the fish, I saw this barracuda. As you can see there, I was setting back my spear gun. This one was a small one. Small but dangerous, guys. When I made the dive on it, it get bad. It's in turn on attack mode. So guess what? Mm? But off his surface, I couldn't spear him. If I did so, he would have bite me up. So as I surface, he turned and swam off. So Jake made a dive and he speared it. Because Jake was right over me when I made the dive on it. Stick around to the end guys. I'm going to show you exactly what it was doing when I made the dive on it. I'm going to demonstrate it while on land. Whenever they turn on attack move like that, you have to be very very careful. Yeah man. So just stick around for that information. So right here, I was showcasing the catch. Some jacks was swimming around them as well. Right here, I saw a butter hind. This one was the biggest one I have ever seen. But before I could reach in shooting range, it swam up in the hole. It was also two of them. They gave no chance. Yes, guys, so we are going here now. We are pulling them off and head back to land. Yes guys, so we just come in. Let me show you the entire catch. See it ya? Three lovely barracuda. Yeah man, Marcus Spear 1, Jake Spear 2. Let me show you the fish them closer. Yeah man, so nice fish. See it there? Fish there nice guys. Yep, me so when I dive off of that one guys, I see stand up and in tail so. And you see the small fin here, just a move so. You see the you see that? Then dangerous, they will bite you up then time there. So that is why I made the kind of stop. I may mean, watch him, man. But when I head back to the surface, in turn uh, in, and swim out, so Jake, the general there. I swim, swim, yeah, man, put a shot on nice skin. I'm bite up the motor going up. Yeah, man. I mean, I watch him look, I mean, I watch him be make that turn around there, man. Yeah, because you know it. You don't expect him to turn around back where you do. You saw me watch him, I said. I buy yeah, me, when I dive off five, me, I say. Watch him now, Marcus. But he never take care of five, you know. Yeah, man. Because when I tell him, I think Jevon out there, no. No, I mean. In front of him. Oh. You yeah. say, yeah, guys. Park, me, yeah, man, can you know, so they smile when they're dangerous. I go buy it. You see, Marcus, I scale him up, yeah. Yo. Today was a lovely day. Snap of the big lacquer. Yeah. Then you see one see. big snapper, too. About 15 pounds. I don't know if I catch him, Marcus. That's bigger than 15 pounds, brother. You don't catch him. He's came right here, but in the deep. Oh, in the deep. So see, there was a new location which I out today. Was not bad there. Yes, guys. So, guys, please remember to leave a like on the video as well. Yeah, man. So, we are going to scale up and thing and get paid home. Because I want evening dive and night to come. When night soon come. This one I, I, I go down there. 
So send the sun soon set. You all are catch cold. Eh? Yeah, I'm going to sit there with that. With a knife, oh, oh. Then I'm backside. Yes, guys, so see there, we reach back your car. On the beach side. What me car, Marcus, so I'm putting in. See it there? A nice, lovely beach, you know. When you can carry on the family and come and enjoy on the side. Look there, a whole lot of persons there on the beach. You can come and get boat ride as well. Yeah, man. It's a lovely beach, guys. the end of the video guys thanks for watching and please remember to like share and subscribe